Hey guys, Lurid Gamer 22 here with another collection update, so let's just get started. This is gonna be my pickups from May onwards, so basically May, June, July. So yeah, let me just get started. First one is Zodiac. This one I really, really enjoyed. And you know, ever since watching the Batman in theaters, you know, I've been just trying to get uh into like these type of crime movies, you know, you know, detective movies, and you know, I saw seen this one, seven as well, and just really enjoyed both of them. But this one I actually like a little bit more, you know. Like a great cast, in my opinion. You know, Robert Downey Jr., uh, what's his name? Uh, Mark Ruffalo is in this one as well. And yeah, just a, like a great movie, in my opinion. Next one is Bedtime Stories. Uh, this one, I don't remember too much about this because I was doing like other things while, while, while watching this one. It was just kind of in the background, but yeah, I'll definitely try to give this one another watch. Next one is Chicken Little. Uh, this one I grew up with, you know, it's a fun movie I saw like a lot of times throughout, throughout my childhood and you know, it's just a fun movie. I know a lot of people for some reason did not like this one. They like the shit on this one, but for me, I enjoyed it for what it was and I'm just happy to own this one on Blu-ray. Next one is Hearing Guard Cup. Now, I haven't fully seen this one, you know, a lot of times when I watch these movies, I watch them at night, so... You know, I'm just sometimes I'm just so tired because I wake up so early in the morning. When I get to these, I just uh, sometimes I just watch like 20, 30 minutes and I'm just fall asleep. But yeah, I'm just gonna try to give this one another watch. Next one is Rio. Um, I enjoyed it for for what I saw. I just saw like the first hour, then I just fell asleep again. So it just like a lot of these, I I don't remember too too much about them. But from what I saw, I just I was really enjoying. It. You know, the setting. You know, there's it's set in Brazil, so. There's like a lot of like Brazilian stuff in there, which I enjoyed. And you know, you actually thought you can actually tell they actually made like their research into this movie. It's just not, it's not like, not like a random, like, you know, like kids' movies, you know, like a random, like crappy one. They actually like a lot of thought went into this one. It's like a fun movie, like very like colorful life, full of life movie. Next one is Friday. This one I saw for the first time like three years ago, and I, I really, really enjoyed it. I'm just, uh, I definitely gonna try to give this one another watch, you know. I remember just being really fun. Next one is Batman Gotham Knight. Uh, this one I actually never seen, but like I am a collector and I'm enjoying collecting these, you know, these animated movies. This is one of the older ones. So yeah, I'm just definitely looking forward to watching this one. Next one is Lance's Lost Empire and My Love Return. These I, I really, really enjoyed. I saw them for the first time, like, was it like five years ago? So I yeah, actually never truly uh, grew up with these, but for, um, so I'm for first time like five years ago. I just really, really enjoyed both of them. Both of them are fun movies, you know. Definitely excited to see them again. The next two are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one and two. I actually did not buy the third one because. I don't know, I just don't, didn't really care for that one, but these two are pretty fun movies, you know, they're movies of their time, I, I really enjoyed like these 90s movies, so yeah, excited to pick them up, you know, definitely gonna, excited to see them again. Next one is Pokemon The Power of Us. This one I saw like two years ago, and I actually don't remember too, too much from this, I just remember, you know, Lugia being in it, and I think it's like a, not a like sequel, but it has like a lot of references to you know the movie 2000 which is the which is called the the power of one if i'm not mistaken you know, that's what it was called for a while pokemon the power of one this is pokemon the power of us and Luigi's is in it as well so yeah i know it's like a kind of like a callback to that movie but yeah i'm definitely looking forward to seeing that one again next one is ap double feature and uh, they're both all right movies but you know, it's like four bucks at Best Buy, so yeah, why not? Decided to pick it up, have them both on Blu ray because I don't have any one of them on Blu ray. And yes, yeah, I had to pick them up. <clears throat> Next one is Office Space. Fun movie, you know. I can't actually relate to this one because I've never actually worked in an office, but you know, it's just a, a fun comedy. You know, like, uh, it's not it's not really that long, so yeah, like fun movie to watch like whenever you have time. And yeah, just decided to pick that one up because it's. I really, really enjoyed that one, to be honest. Next one is 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street. This one I really, really enjoyed. I saw it for, for first time like a few months ago. It just really, really fun movie. I should never, never saw this one uh, before, but you know, see after seeing it, it just like, I don't know why. 
it took so long for me to get this to this movie, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed this one. Now, 22 Jump Street, uh, I actually heard that from a lot of people they was like better than this, the first one, but not for me. I just really enjoyed the first one a lot more. Uh, you know, some of the jokes on this one just didn't land as well. It tried, it tried to do like a little too much and just kind of felt flat in my opinion. Just really, really enjoyed the first one a lot more. <clears throat> Next one is Here Comes the Boom. It's like another fun comedy, and I just really, really enjoy Kevin James. You know, I I really love his the sitcom. What is it, the King of Queens? You know, he's like a he's like a funny, funny, funny actor. You know, I just pretty much enjoy, it, and I will definitely watch pretty much anything that he's in. And he has like a fun like MMA type movie, and yeah, but fun movie to watch. This one is Treasure Planet. This one I actually never grew up with. This one as a kid, I just remember the trailers on those old. Uh, Power Ranger VHS tapes, and for some reason I just never watched this one as a kid, but, you know, I decided to pick it up. It was, it was cheap online, and why not? It was, it, it was a fun movie, you know. Next one is Catwoman Hunted. Now, this one I saw the trailers, like, when they came out for, you know, the, uh, online on YouTube, and I was, I wasn't, like, not too big on, on the trailers. I was like, eh, I'll just pick it up, but I'm, I, I don't think I'm going to like this one as much. But it was actually, like, a quite a nice surprise it was, Pretty fun movie, enjoyable, and yeah, it was like cheap. It was on sale at Best Buy, I believe, and yeah, decided just decided to pick it up. And you know, it's a fun movie to watch. A great addition to my, you know, DC animated collection. <clears throat> Next one is The Batman. Now this one is a fantastic movie, and it's probably my favorite, my, the best movie I've seen all year. You know, this one, um, along with you know, The Dark Knight and The Joker, is probably. Uh, what I call DC Big Three, probably like my three favorite movies of DC. It's just a fantastic movie. You know what can I say? If you never, you haven't seen it, definitely check that one out. This, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal movie. Next one is Knives Out. Enjoy movie. Definitely gonna give this one another watch because I remember the. I don't really remember the plot too much for this one, but yeah, definitely gonna, gonna give this one another watch. The next three are Ice Age. I see the meltdown and I see the collision course. These two I grew up with, especially the first one. Had it on VHS. Really enjoyed that one. This one I had it on DVD. Fun movie as well. And this one I actually never saw as this one as when it came out, but I was actually avoiding it because I remember those. What was it? The fourth movie. Uh, what's it called? Continental Drift. That one was. I did not care for that one at all, and I just really always avoided this one. But I uh, uh, found that one for like five bucks and just had to pick it up. And yes, it was, it was actually quite enjoyable to be honest. This is way better than the fourth one, in my opinion. And yeah, fun movie to have. <clears throat> Next one is Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. This one I saw for the first time like a few months ago. Enjoyed it. You know, I pretty much all these movies that I've I seen, so you know, I enjoy. I pretty much enjoy all of these. And. You have just a sucker for these like type of like medieval type movies, you know, these like bow, arrows, swords, horses. I'm just a sucker for those type of movies. I'll definitely like watch most things that involve that. Next one is Ben Hur. This is like one of those classic movies, like a classic, like biblical one. Actually, I have not seen this one yet. I know it's open, but it was only because one of the discs was losing size. So I decided to open it just to fix that one because that drives me insane. I was worried about there being scratches on these. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to watching this one. Next one is The Great Iron Gang. You know, this is one of the rocks. I'm not going to say it's one of his earliest movies because he had already done like quite a few movies before this one. But yeah, this is a like very enjoyable one. And a, a lot of these like football movies, sports movies, sports movies, they're like the same thing, like exactly the same movie. But I don't know, I'm just a sucker for these. Are, I enjoy pretty much all of them in my opinion. Next one is Captain Marvel. It's a controversial one. So I remember back when it came out, you know, Brie Larson, Brie Larson had made like a lot of these like sexist comments, you know, about men. But and I always kind of like boycotted this movie. I never saw it in theaters and never actually, you know, bought it at Best Buy or anything. This one I picked up at Five Below. And yeah, there's had, they had like a couple, like a lot of different like Marvel movies, you know, there was like Black Panther. It was Avengers Infinity War, if I'm not mistaken. Endgame as well. And this one. 
And you just had to pick it up. And pretty much all the movies they sell there are used. So, yeah, they're been previously watched. So, I mean, if you buy it from it, you're not actually supporting, like, Disney. So, if you care for that, you can just buy, it like, a few of them there. Because you're not actually giving Disney any of your money. So, you just had to buy it for, like, five bucks. And, yeah, it was kind of, mm, kind of like a man movie. For, especially for the time, because I remember this was, like, right, right after Infinity War. And, you know, it's just very, very, very dis disappointing, like, not much. I know a lot of people like just went to that movie just to. They thought they were, uh, they needed to watch that one, uh, you know, before Endgame. So yeah, that's, that's why that movie, that movie made like a whole lot of money uh, at the box office. I think it made over a billion, and you know, that's, it's alright in my opinion, but definitely like a letdown from. In comparison to like a lot of those other movies from from that time. Next one is Shang Chi. Now this one I actually pretty enjoyed. It was like a fun movie to be honest. Uh, I was like going into it with low expectations, you know, uh, Marvel Phase 4 has not been the best so far, but, you know, I went into it with low expectations, but uh, it's probably like the second best uh, Phase 4 movie, only after, you know, what's it called, the Spider-Man movie, but, yeah, uh, pretty much the, the, the final battle is pretty pretty much anticlimactic, because it just felt like a, like a mid, you know, like a mid movie fight, but, eh, it is what it is, I'm definitely looking for watching, like, more movies in this universe, you know, in Marvel, so, yeah. Hopefully there's like a, a sequel to that one. There probably is already. Next one is uh, Maleficent. This one I saw for the first time like seven years ago. Like eight, seven, eight years ago, I believe, when it first came out. And, you know, I enjoyed it back then. And like I've been saying, I'm kind of like a sucker for these like fantasy movies. I know there's not too much like uh, knights in this one. There's like a few in the background, but, you know, like a fun movie, to be honest. This one actually redeemed online. It was... Uh, Disney Movie Insiders is what it's called now. And yeah, just had enough points to redeem like a free uh, Blu-ray. So I had to pick this one up. Next one is my most recent pickup. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. This one I wasn't too, too big on. But, you know, I'm like collect I'm a collector. So I'm just definitely gonna trying to get oh, like pretty much all the movies I can. And this is the Walmart exclusive version. I really like the cover in this one. Because all the almost kind of bland to be honest. Even like the Steelbook wasn't... It was just kind of meh. The Target versus Slip Cover was also kind of lame, to be honest. You know, the regular ones were kind of boring. So he decided to pick the Walmart version up. It's kind of it's kind of cool, looking to be honest. It has like a free like pin on it. Still haven't opened it, to be honest. But yeah, so uh, definitely gonna give that one another shot. And last but not least, Apocalypse Now. This is one of those classic, classic movies. You know, what can I say? One of those like Vietnam era war movies. You know, I just really enjoyed this movie. Pretty much the only part of the whole night was the, like, the last 30 minutes, which is kind of like slow. But other than that, it just, you know, it's like a classic. What can I say? It's one of those movies that uh, most people have in their top, uh, you know, 20, 30 favorite movies of all time. And yeah, this is like a 4K version. It was pretty cheap at Target. like 15 bucks for this one. So I just had to pick this one up. And yeah, that's it for now. So, you know, stay tuned. I'll do more, you know, these unboxing videos. I'll do more updates. I'll do more Blu-ray hunting videos in the future, so stay tuned for that. But for now, this is about it. Please comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.